Hi everyone. Hope you're all safe and good at home. Now, let's recall our last video class. That is clothes we wear. Clothes are one of our basic needs. It makes us smart, neat, tidy and comfortable. The clothes that we wear reflect our attitude and personality. Clothes comes in different styles and colors. We wear clothes according to our choice of seasons, occasions, and occupations different types of clothes are worn in different seasons clothes are made of cotton wool silk and other materials clothes are made up of fibers which means threads these threads are woven into fabrics or cloth. Fibers are two types. One, natural fibers and two, synthetic fibers or man-made fibers. Natural fibers means fibers that we get from plants and animals are called natural fibers. Natural fibers means fibers that we get from plants and animals are called natural fibers. Example, jute, cotton, linen, wool, and silk. Jute from jute plant, cotton from cotton plant, Linen from flax plant, wool from sheep, and silk from silkworm. Natural fibers are less weight and soft. Comfortable to wear. Slow to dry. It absorbs water and breathe. The second one. Synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers means fibers that are made artificially are called synthetic fibers or man-made fibers. Example, rayon, nylon, polyester and lycra. Synthetic fibers are 1. Stronger than natural fibers. 2. Dry up fast. 3. Wrinkle free and stretchable. 4. Catch fire easily. 
5. They don't allow body heat to escape. In summer, we wear cotton clothes because they have pores between the fibers and allow air past them freely, giving comfort to us. And also, the light colored cotton cloths absorbs sweat from our body and keep us cool. We get cotton from cotton plants. Example, salwar, frock, t-shirt, Pant, saris, towels, handkerchief, dhoti, etc. In winter, we wear woolen clothes. Woolen clothes will keep us warm. We get wool from Sheep. We wear dark color cloths in winter so that they absorb heat and keep the body warm. Example sweaters, scarf, leather jackets, gloves, cap. Muffler, coat, etc. In rainy season, we cover ourselves with raincoats. And also, we use umbrella and gum boots. These keep us away from getting wet. Clothes we wear in occasions or festivals. We have lots of occasions. In our country, we have many traditional occasions and celebrations. Hindus were celebrating Diwali. Dazra, Pongal, Bihu, Holi, Shankranti, Mahashivratri, etc. In that festivals, we wear new clothes. Boys wear pant, shirt, kurta and trousers. Girls wear churidar, frock, silk half sari, Salwar kameez, lehenga, etc. And for men, kurta, pan shirt, suit, dhoti, and silk shirt. And women, Wear designer saris, cotton saris, and silk saris. Do you want to know about the story of silk? Silk is 
one of the most beautiful fabrics in the world most people love to wear silk on special occasions festivals and in precious occasions silk is obtained from silk worm which are cultured on commercial scale to obtain silk but have you ever wondered that how this fiber was discovered 5000 years back by the mankind according to an old chinese legend silk was discovered by a chinese empress she found a white worms eating up the leaves of mulberry trees in her garden she noticed that worms were spinning shining cocoons around them she collected some of them cocoons accidentally one of the cocoon fall into her cup of tea she noticed that the cocoon was actually made from a long thread that was both strong and soft in this way the fiber of silk was discovered but chinese guarded the secret of silk for over 1000 years afterwards traders and travelers introduced silk to various parts of the world silk was introduced in india about 1900 years ago the story of its introduction is related to a chinese princess who married an indian prince she was very fond of silk fabric and therefore she bought silk worm eggs to india in her dress and then the worms are feed with indian mulberry leaves initiating the silk production in india and china holds the top position with silk production of about 40% of the world silk next biggest silk producing country is japan and india is placed in third position in silk production in india state of karnataka was the leading silk producer in india we have 26 types of silk sarees from all states some famous silks are assam silk sarees art silk sari banarasi silk sari tassar silk sari chanderi silk sari dharmavaram silk sari kanjivaram silk sarees mysore silk sarees pochamballi silk sarees etc clothes are different types sometime the clothes which people wear tells us about the work they do
people working in banks and offices wear light colored clothes example men wear shirt pant tie shoe and socks women wear sarees chudidars salwar kameez etc motor mechanic use dark colored dress while walking so that the dirt does not show on their clothes children can you tell me who is this yes policeman the dress tells about his work and who is he a navy officer he wear white suit coat and white trousers with cap and he is a military man it is called jungle dress or battle dress he is a doctor she is a nurse a watchman he is a fire brigade she is a teacher driver and conductor and children wear uniforms to schools people working in fields use short clothes these clothes reach only up to their knees long clothes will get wet in the rice fields dress people in different states wear different dresses it tells about their culture and traditional for example the people living in rajasthan women wear kagra and kanchli men wear dhoti kurta angara and turban and the people living in jammu and kashmir wear firan and salwar kameez let's see some traditional dress of indian people gujaratis punjabi marathi telugu karnataka kashmiri nepali assamese keralites and tamil nadu people some countries make some clothes as they are national or traditional dresses for example indian men wear shirt and dhoti women wear 
sari and salwar a chinese men wear tang suit women wear hanfu arabian men wear thob and for women hijab a japanese men and women wear kimono american wear jeans cowboy hats and flannel shirts property of absorption of water the property of absorption of water and drying varies according to the type of the cloth artificial thread absorbs less water and dry quickly example polyester rayon cloths made of natural fibers absorbs more water and also take a lot of times to dry example cotton cleaning methods of clothes as the texture of different materials separate cleaning methods to be applied so soap water shampoo liquids soap powder etc are used to washing our clothes they give foam to salt water also the costly silk sarees and woolen clothes spoiled if they are washed with soap and water so the petrol wash is needed for them proper care must be taken to have a long life for clothes for the brightness of white clothes blue powder or blue liquid will be applied the colored clothes should be dried in shade to avoid fading of colors always iron the clothes because it makes us look smart and tidy care of clothes one woolen clothes and silk clothes are too soft and very delicate so they get attacked by insects such as moths silver fish and rats so we have to put moth balls and we can use dried neem leaves while storing them socks and shoes socks and shoes protect us from dust heat cold germs 
and insects. If we walk barefoot, we may get hurt and it cause infection. So, let's recall. Silk is one of the most beautiful fabrics in the world. Most people love to wear silk on special occasions or festivals. A silk is obtained from silk worm, which are cultured on commercial scale to obtain silk. India is placed in third position in silk. Karnataka was the leading silk producer. Clothes are different types. Sometimes the clothes which people wear tells us about the work they do. People in different states wear different dresses. Some countries make some clothes as they are national or traditional dresses. Artificial threads absorb less water and dry quickly. Example, polyester, rayon. Clothes made of natural fibers absorbs more water and also take a lot of time to dry. Example, cotton. In cleaning methods of clothes, we use soap water, shampoo water, liquid, soap powder, etc. They give foam to salt water also. The costly silk saris and woolen clothes spoiled if they are washed with soap and water. So, the petrol wash is needed for them. This is called dry cleaning. Proper care must be taken to have a long life for clothes. The colored clothes should be dried in shade to avoid fading of colors. Woolen clothes and silk are too soft and very delicate. So, they get attacked by insects such as moth, silverfish and rat. So, we have to put moth balls and we can use dried neem leaves while storing them. And now, take your classwork and start. Roman 4. Answer the following questions in detail. Question 1. Why do we need clothes? Answer. We need clothes to cover and to protect our body from heat, cold and rain. Question 2. Why are synthetic clothes preferred over 
clothes made from natural fibers answer clothes made with synthetic fibers are stronger than those made from natural fibers these clothes dry up fast they are wrinkle free and some are stretchable question 3 why do we wear light colored cotton clothes in summer and dark colored clothes in winter light colored cotton clothes reflect sunlight and hence keep as cool in summer dark colored clothes absorb sunlight and make us feel warm in winter question 4 how do we take care of clothes answer clothes should be washed rinsed and dried properly to remove dirt dust and germs we must put mouth balls and dried neem leaves in these clothes while storing them question 5 how can we protect our woolen and silk clothes answer woolen and silk clothes are very delicate so it can be washed gently or dry cleaned they can be easily attacked by insects such as moths silverfish and rats so we must put moth balls and dried neem leaves in these clothes while storing them thank you children